SCP-003, known locally as moon mold, is a very powerful strain of bacteria, or something like it. We actually don't know what it truly is, or what it looks like microscopically, but we know it hides in the overly abundant lunar regolith that coats the surface of the moon. The crew that was selected to go investigate what these were haven't returned. The official story is that something in their module had gotten damaged, that they burned through the atmosphere of the Earth on re-entry, and they died as a result of the intense heat. But no capsule was ever found or recovered. What really happened was relayed to me by the lead program director. The one in charge of directing the mission stated, Of all the missions I've ever had the responsibility to put together, this one chilled me the most. The mission commander was codenamed Charlie, who piloted the Saturn V headed to the moon, accompanied by a lead scientist codenamed Solaris. She would be the one gathering the samples of this unknown dust and bring it back to the onboard lab in the module. When it came time for launch... Ignition sequence start. Six, five... Over the rainbow. Three, I'll be there, kiddo. Two, one... And lift off. Three days later, they arrived in lunar orbit. Upon landing on the moon, they suited up for the venture. From this point, the only thing that confirms this moon mold is deadly is the recorded dialogue of the two astronauts. Based on what we heard, we classified it as safe. Dangerous when handled, but being that its origin is on the moon, we can safely say we won't be going back till we have the necessary mission parameters to ensure people's safety. This is audio recorded from that mission, minutes before disaster. Control, Charlie, confirming comms back to MC. How copy? Charlie, comms confirmed, loud and clear, over. Roger, Control, on suit power. Solaris and I are walking to the first sample site. Control, this is Solaris. Photos have been taken. We'll be sending images through DSN. Expect them in a few. Roger, Solaris. We'll have an eye out. Charlie, wait. Don't touch that. You know you can call me Nichols, right? <laughs> I know. But we don't know its properties yet. Better safe than sorry, you know? I'm sure we'll be fine, Audrey. Control? Samples have been collected and ready to be analyzed. There seems to be much more in this crater, though. We could reach it in an hour. Negative, Charlie. Keep those samples contained, safe, and return to Lem. Roger that, Control. Return to Lem. Back at the lunar module, they took off their spacesuits and prepared to analyze the samples. Every detail she gathered she sent to ground control in a secure file. Then seemingly by accident, Nichols' hand grazed his glove, and suddenly a sharp stinging pain started emerging. Ow, what the hell? Nichols? Is it burning you? Feels like it. This is really starting to burn. I'm patching ZC. Take this. What Nichols couldn't wipe, he smeared, and what he smeared turned to ash gray. Then it turned red. This substance was starting to make him bleed. He was also starting to cough, violently. Not just him, Audrey too. Control, Charlie is actively being affected by this substance. It is taking <laughs> a serious <laughs> effect on both of us. Solaris, where is he now? Where are the samples being stored? Solaris, do you read? Solaris! Solaris, copy. If you enjoyed this story, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more SCP Undocked content.